You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. Johnson. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip from Celebrity Rehab. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Celebrity Rehab. <laughs> Rehab. <laughs> rehab. I got okay. it this By time. Way, is it, it is. ironic that it says, and the buzz continues? Oh, yeah. never even thought about uh, I, that. I think it's appropriate rather than ironic. I think. Yeah, it is appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. much mm-hmm. so. So here we are. Uh, Celebrity Rehab Season 5, Episode 8, Preparing for Discharge. Ooh, which right yeah. there is a bad <laughs> title. Yeah, well, thought, you know, you do need to be prepared sometimes. I thought it was uh, <laughs> better than being not prepared. Oh, that's correct. Yes, True. Phil, go ahead. I thought it was very much uh, a double entendre on the Michael Lohan situation from last week going into this week, and also, obviously, with, with graduation approaching. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. oh right. Okay, got oh, it. Well, first, let's introduce right. ourselves. Yes, yeah, so let's, yeah. let's say who's in the so, studio with Tim. Oh, Lohan. my gosh. We've got John Comerford. We've got Phil Svitek. We've got That's me. Benjamin Bottomley and Melissa and Michelle Macedo. And I'm Tamara yeah. Berg. Happy to be here. And G- DJ Jesse Jandy D- in the booth. DJ Jesse Jandy. Give us a shout out, Jesse. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so well, we're on. We know who's drunk right now. We're on. Yes, day, sir. We're on day seventeen of rehab. Right. Rehab. Seventeen through nineteen, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Beginning at day seventeen, and we're leaving. Um, we're coming back in where where last week's show left off, which was <laughs> the, the craziness you know, in, the, in the parking yeah, lot. Get more drama in the parking yeah. lot. Michael Lohan threatening yeah. to have a heart attack. Got and the popo coming up. Jen yeah, running popo. after him and screaming. We Michael, had a little, Michael. 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 We had a little Michael. Michael. Honesty Michael. session going on in the parking lot last week. I think. Yeah. yeah, that was. Yeah. 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 So the the police came because there was a public disturbance right. going on, and apparently um, Pasadena's not used to this. Kind exactly. Of thing. Yeah. 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 That was can, so can, funny. can you Pasadena girl speak to that? Yes. Place? You know what? They good. I mean, a good thing drama happens at celebrity rehab because otherwise, I I don't really know what they would do. There, no, would, be, there would be no drama. There in would Pasadena. be no drama. <laughs> it's no. just a, a paradise of a place, and um, well, definitely the only drama is. Our friend's party got broken up, and so let's just go to the next house. Right. <laughs> <That would laughs> the next right. very nice, so. very but put Mike, together Michael house. Did, Didn't you think it was something. funny that they're sitting in the sort of counseling room? There's, <laughs> yeah. But, well, yeah. here it is. Here it's, it's, is. Yeah. it's Michael the and uh, officer, I can't and remember his name. The police are very... Oh, oh no, no, the big guy. It was, right. Yeah, it was the big guy. Will. Who's the, I can't, Will. Will. Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. The police seem very understanding, right? You have to understand. We don't have these kind of things happen here in Pasadena. <laughs> this might be normal for you. Apparently, the police officers are us. very understanding. Some, uh-huh. all the ones yeah. that are, yeah. Yeah. all They're the ones the that nice I've especially the ones who know they're on camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> Otherwise, kidding. they'd be like beating him up. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. So who who called the police? Well, I'm not sure who called the police. Well, who's who's this Kate person? She's the she's my she's the <laughs> girl who lives in my apartment. Is yeah. how he introduced her. Yeah, that yeah. was interesting. And then Dr. Drew comes out, and you think uh, he's going to be all nice to Kate, and he's like, why aren't you in rehab? Yeah. Why are well, you taking She was a in? nutball. She was oh, crazy. crazy. I come here to make amends, she said. And it was like, oh, my God, what a liar you are right yeah. there. Yeah, she's You're lying. a hooker. Whoa, oh, whoa. No. And everybody knows it. Oh, no. Right, what exactly. Getting, she's what? quoting Michael Lohan. She is, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's not, yes, she's not calling her. Yeah. I personally do I never know. saw any money exchange hands. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, by the way, I got to say, you know what? You always think of Dr. Drew as always composed. And you know what? There's that one shot of him I with his back. I that down, too. With his back. And yes, and he just goes, God damn it. Yeah. yeah. Phil and I both I laughed know. at that. I think that's that the surprising. most that's the most frustrated he ever gets. That's that so was hilarious. That, yeah, there you go. It was so funny because he never, he he never always breaks. stays composed. Yeah, and yeah. even the most frustrating moments, 
he gets a little mad, but he was just like, God damn it. Well, plus, he's wearing a t-shirt, which means he yeah. was at home. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Check out those muscles, yo. Oh, yeah. 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 He's, uh, very He was strong. at home watching Intervention, you know? <laughs> <laughs> How do I keep up with it? <laughs> totally. No, he, but yeah, so, in Intervention, he's probably thinking, look at all those people. <laughs> <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> opportunities. Um, but I thought it was funny when, again, he this is this is like the new and improved Dr. Drew coming out. Michael Lohan goes, you know, w- will you sit down with me and Kate? And what was Dr. Drew? No. Come on, would you please like help Absolutely me kind of fix not. it? But I wanted to he maybe like to. should be in rehab mm-hmm. right now. I don't know why But, but could you maybe no. get to. Could I could put could down, I could be quiet. Move no on. no no I loved it I was like yeah yeah yes. I like that I was like tell him what's going on especially when he's out here right here check All this right. out he should have no contact no no outside contact he's in lockdown Even now me, no outside contact yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. he basically I is, hope she follows that he's telling him what's what he doesn't have Wait, a sympathetic also, face he's got on big muscle can I just too. say it might have already happened but well, she's putting a cigarette out to her mouth yeah. and oh, then it oh, falls yeah, yeah. it comes and I'm like it's not happening yet yeah. I'm like yeah. she's so drunk I really hope that shows up on the soup I think it should yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, here it is cigarette mouth there it is she's like totally big fail get that alright one at a time I'm going to implement the rule. Okay. I'm going to be the Shelly or Dr. Drew yeah, or whoever yeah, we that got it. We got the rule. There so now go. that should be preparing for discharge. I think popping right out. See, that right there. <laughs> oh, I love her. I oh, love no. To the big ugly cry. Yeah. There it is. It always there works. Is. Oh, no. It always works. She can't. Um, I was, Goodbye. I was going to say that, that Dr. Drew was saying how she needs to respect the rules. And then I put a picture of a trash can next to her name. Which Ooh. means she's trashy. Ooh. Um, and no really, love for her. For and really no, oh, and she, as driving away, says, um, I really hope that he gets better. He gets the help he needs, that effing <laughs> loser. <laughs> I don't think she meant the first part. <laughs> so. No. Sometimes I, thank you means thank me. you. I know. It's because of the cry. That's yeah. why you yeah. thought. Exactly. There it is. Uh, hey. Oh. I could read her lips on that yeah. one. Well, you know, oh. Just when you thought, okay, maybe she'll come out here with a little class, a little <laughs> dignity. No. 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 Think when, again. Yeah, exactly. That's By the way, did, what, at the end of it, all of this, is she going to rehab tonight or, or did we agree to tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. Well, and I what are she the, paused I didn't even for think a while. Tomorrow. And what are the odds? Uh, yeah, tomorrow in finger quotes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Every time in, on on intervention and Tamara, you know, yes, that every time someone says, "Can I think about it? Can I go home and get something?" No, I'll mm-hmm. do it in the morning. No, then you're never gonna go. No, you gotta these go are, now. The, yeah, these are the. Uh, uh, but okay. yeah. By the way, very good life now. lesson for you, Ben, <laughs> and actually the rest of you. Mm-hmm. Don't do it tomorrow. Just do it now. But you know. But just I want to get drunk now. now. Tomorrow yeah, is so, always a can day I just away. Get fucked so up just tonight. Yeah, I mean messed up. There we go. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. So we shouldn't shouldn't put off to tomorrow what we yeah. can do today. So if we want to get drunk tomorrow, let's just do, do it, it today. today. <laughs> yes. Good advice, Cheers. girl. So what As was I'm next? drinking my herbal tea. Uh, next we have the day 18, and they're they're focusing on aftercare. That's the next day. Well, mm-hmm. well, well did, we, the, did we do Jeremy yet? And his. I think his, that's a little later on. Is that's it? a. Li- uh, no, can we start out? the. Yeah. Wait. That's clean pretty, out comes that's later. later. That's pretty the awesome. Late, yeah. The, the clean out comes later. Yeah. Clearly, this is, I have two people who didn't take notes. Wait. On so both of my sides. Yeah. Did we, we say this? this next to Sean Young? That's what no, we no, no, no. No. I want to talk about how Shelly just came in and started drama. She was like, what started happened la- with Michael Lohan? What happened last night? Because well, she. Oh, okay. So, right. Yeah. She's, she's why, why no she BS. Drama? She's, she's no BS. She's, she's no like, what? why would you? Of course, everyone's mad at him because he brought, he like distracted, as Dr. Drew said, away from everyone's treatment. You know, everything that was happening was away from them becoming healthy. Because right. it was what about was your, what's, him. What, what, are, what point are you making? I feel like you're making a point. Yeah, what's a point? I'm making and a point. remember, keep the decibel level low. <laughs> she came in. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> she came in and said, Why did you do that last night? Why did you do that? And kept pursuing it in a very. I don't know. Just aggressive. A very aggressive. I, I negative beg to way. differ. I beg to differ. I think Shelly asked him a couple of questions. He was incredibly combative. Mm. He's the one who started escalating mm. it. I don't think she well, did. I don't. I, no, yeah. I, I I agree. I don't have any problem with this. I I think it's her job to call somebody right. on their crap. Right. 
But what what I was hoping and what Lohan should have done was taken responsibility for the fact that he caused it. Right. He, he, he did. didn't have to say, yeah. get over here right now. If she didn't say, get over here right now, it wouldn't, wouldn't have, have happened at up. all. And he did. And it was because of his actions that the cops were called. Right. And, and, and later in the group, he did take responsibility. Yeah. But I my favorite part was when he wasn't. And I think what Shelly was like, making him realize because obviously yeah. he was getting defensive but then Sean Young comes in <laughs> yeah. Sean amazing yeah. uh, shut up I, I just hear this part. banshee like voice I'm like there it is I there's know. Sean Young there she is what I love was that Tell she was already what? awake She's reading a book. Yeah, yeah. I know, but yeah. and she, she didn't want to say that. Because she was asleep before. Right. And then, woke her up. And uh, then she muttered, no. I'm going to kick his butt. But it didn't. But it was small mutter. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. She might go in and be like, can you be quiet? Yeah. No. No. That's, no. no yeah, I like that she, she looked, it looked like she would look straight down the barrel of the camera and say, <laughs> I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs> <laughs> she did she it. Knew, it knew, she knew where the camera, she, the, the woman knows how to find her camera. Yeah. Right and, that's and, it. Yeah. That's it. and in that lighting, yeah. her eyes look like yeah. Demon eyes because yeah, everyone's eyes do. It really that. did. I, I thought the, the connection for me was when she was in later on, and I know I'm jumping ahead, but when she was having the two uh, the meeting with uh, Doctor uh, Drew with her husband and the yeah, other doctor, Sean Young, and she her. was talking about how she that time when she flipped off the handle and went mm. after her husband. Yep. And I go, well, that and she was trying to say that I didn't remember because I was drunk. And I go, well, we just saw a little glimpse of it. And you weren't drunk. Yeah. I mean, there's that kind of <laughs> yeah, as she called it, her Irish. Yeah, ancestry yeah. coming through. Yeah, it was weird how she recounted it so clearly, and then she was like, "And I didn't even remember when I woke up." And I was right. like, and, and, "I didn't until, until I remember." Until, until, until I remember it. it. <laughs> oh right, oh right. I I know some people like that. Pop up. They just uh, don't remember, so then it's not their fault. Stop talking right. about me, Michelle. It's the, it's the fairy <laughs> people fault. <laughs> but me. also, what it's the Irish banshee fault? Oh That's yeah. It. Uh, That's Michael it. Lohan also was taking responsibility. And then a second later in group, he said how everyone in his life has made him like this and basically how he's like a victim. Because I remember I wrote that down. Um, so, well, yeah, I just want to point that out. Oh, he said, I'm only trying to help myself. Why can't I help me? No, he said, Instead I'm always, always trying, trying to help, help everyone, everyone else. else. Why, yeah. can't why can't I, I, can't I help me? me? Why can't? Yeah. Well, yeah, and, and okay. I'll tell him why. Because him helping everybody else is distracting him from helping himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, and Dr. Drew was like, yeah, <laughs> you can't look inward if you're always looking out. Yeah, yeah. Or Surrender. at least help the right people. You know what I mean? Wait, can we talk about Jeremy Jackson's voice of reason? Oh, and yeah, no. wasn't that good? Different facial hair, too. He was yeah, we'll talk about his facial hair in a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sean Young. <laughs> he was channeling his inner David Hasselhoff. <coughs> oh, Bless awesome. you. There is an inner David Hasselhoff? I thought that was an empty shell. I <laughs> no, his quote was, we build a team around us to get us well, or we build a team around us to keep us sick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, wow. yeah. look at you. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I might have to revisit some Baywatch, because yeah. that might be like That's right. season yeah, might, exactly. four, episode eight. It sounds exactly. like Jeremy really is happy with his truth. And he, yes, he's like, and he's comfortable with this yeah, truth, yeah. yeah. And he really hopes <laughs> that everybody else gets their own truth. But like, can we just do side side note? I mean, it practically warrants a special segment, but we have something else, to, else for the special segment. Jeremy's facial hair. Yeah, I was. swear yeah. he was like it's quite it was hourly. It was like a com it was like a comedy routine. Yeah, like he was <laughs> slapping things, on, different things on his face. Yeah. I thought Maybe it. Not I thought it was mustache, fake. Mustache. I want to get Ben's opinion on this because he's 15 and he's gonna be dealing with facial hair. Ben, oh your God. thoughts? You're such a mom. My, my thoughts <laughs> on his facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It, ben, you don't have to answer that if you it, don't want to. <laughs> my thoughts were it was different in almost every scene. Uh, that's not a thought. That's an opinion. Or no, no, that's, no a that's a fact. A yes, but well, it's a thought that I had. Yeah. That Good was for the you. Only and that is Are you looking thought. forward to having different facial hair every two every minutes? hour? Yes. It, Bill, seriously, it was, maybe it's the roids. It, it didn't make sense. It, it was distracting. It looked ridiculous. Yeah. And literally, <laughs> he would be wearing the same outfit. So either he has no wardrobe, or they're really messing with the days and stuff. But he'd be wearing the same outfit and have a mustache. And then ten minutes later, in what looked like real time, he'd have the full-on Van Dyke going <laughs> right. on, yeah. or like a goatee. And then yeah. he was mostly clean shaven, had two days worth of growth. I was, I, I couldn't. Very, 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 very
actually. That's, oh, yeah, it's, inc- it's yeah, impressive. Yeah, and then at his house, it was like, bam, well, you know? Well, as I was saying, with all that testosterone <laughs> he's taking, yeah, that's, that's how must fast be it that's what that's how fast it grows. Yeah. Now we know. Bam. Although, and one one of the shots, when he was at the, I think when he was at his home, Getting rid of all the stuff. I, I swear that mustache looked like it was fake. Yeah, like, I know. It did. I, I was like, why would he wear a fake mustache? <laughs> yeah, like that. Maybe, maybe remember, incognito. Remember. He didn't want. To, he was breaking into somebody else's awesome. house. Well, no. Remember last week or two weeks ago, we talked about him th- with ch- doing the Chippendales. In yeah. Vegas oh, that's right. yeah, at the yeah, Rio, yeah, yeah, yeah right. Mm. It might have been part of his Chippendales mm. costume. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Also, maybe that's his new addiction. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> facial hair. Changing fake <laughs> facial Trying hair. Out different kinds of facial. That was hair. a very impressive group meeting, though. It yeah. really was. You know, what? talk yeah. about it a little bit, John. What well, was, just what that were your they, you know, people had things to say, and you could see, you know, it's, it, uh, you know, seventeen, eighteen days into this, their heads are clear, mm. they're present, they're making cognitive uh, uh, associations and everything like that. I'm going, wow. And they're see all see what's like. They're all calm, and well, I, you know what, I really felt for Michael this episode. I feel like he had a breakthrough. You know. He's not, even though he's not my favorite person, I was like, good for him. Good for Michael. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy also was talking about the plan, why Michael right. was upset, because things didn't go according to plan, right. and mm-hmm. and he's seemingly realizing, Jeremy and everybody else is, that just because something doesn't go your way doesn't mean you should become addicted to something. That's not good for you. Vitamins whoa, whoa. are fine. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the topic was surrender yeah. to mm-hmm. surrender, mm-hmm. and that's a hard concept for many mm-hmm. people to get. Yeah, because they think surrender is obviously giving up, and yeah. oh, I don't want to give that up. That's not, that is yeah. a hard one. Yeah, but it was it was a really impressive um, group, though, it, and it's, and it's, just, it's actually just, surrendering to the moment of what is, not the way you want it to be. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what you mean, surrender. Mm. And even by she was like, just have faith, and I was like. Yeah. And she's just so calm and, you know. Yeah, I, know. I mean, normally and she'd she, be climbing up roofs. Yeah, and stand stand she did it from a chair. Yeah. Which was nice. <laughs> from a chair. So. I, I thought it was really And Doc, impressive. even Doc, the reassuring, you know, yep. hand and the, what he had to say. I mean, I thought it was great. Yeah, that look at that. that. Doc night. hasn't said anything. Not lately. He has he's, a couple episodes we haven't seen. Since yeah. Then, so. Okay, I guess I had a little tiny bit of compassion. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Alert the media. Really? But then, Seriously? After Buzz <laughs> exclusive? But then I coughed it up again. Yeah, after Buzz <laughs> TV exclusive. So how long did that compassion Just last? Just now That's when it? I was watching it. That was really- it's on the TV. Wow, very fleeting. It's gone now. Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> can we talk about Jeremy's trip home? Yes. Or do we? Well, well the next thing that happened was um, Sean going into small oh, yeah. group and talking oh, right. about being mm-hmm. worried about uh not having any fun without alcohol right mm. yeah mm, yeah i can understand that yeah i get that because you, you can't and jessica so. <laughs> jessica kind of having the same similar yeah. similar fear but then jessica was saying that oh what did you say it was just weed yeah, yeah. Just i weed. know i can give up alcohol but i don't want to give up marijuana it's just uh, weed. It's not yeah. going to kill me. She was like, how serious are you guys? It's not going to kill me. I was but like, that, oh, I mean, God. that's a great thing uh, from an addict to to, to deal to with. Say. Because it isn't the same thing, obviously. But to a, to an addict brain and their brain yeah. and their associations and, and what it does to them, right. it, it is the same. But mm-hmm. yeah. Dr. Drew was like, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to cause the same kind of thing weed. for you. Just yeah. And so now um, he supports, I guess, her addiction to onesies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, Who doesn't? But hey, don't, we all love the onesie, don't we? But at this point, they're great. No. Well, she <laughs> almost zips it all the way up this episode. Yeah. I did you see that? that? that I was love awesome the Unabomber look. I love yeah. the Unabomber. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she was hiding from them. That's when she did it. Um, next after that, just because I know we want to get to the Jeremy thing, we mm-hmm. we talk we talk about Sean and her alcoholic mm-hmm. husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, interesting side note: she and her husband were divorced in 2002. Oh. Are they remarried or are they just... No, not according to everything I could find. Wow. Oh. Divorced in 2002. But she still, obviously, right. still calls him my husband. Yeah, because she says we've been together for whatever, 20, 20 years. 20 years. Yeah. It was 1990 that they got married. Oh, my God. Wow. Divorced in 2002. Now, there's a magic marriage. Now, well, me. guess what? We're about to, we're approaching common law marriage in a year. No, it's 11 years. They've been common law married for a long oh, time. Oh, there you go. Well, uh, is it what common is law seven, seven or ten? Eleven. Hey guys, eleven. I think we have yeah. a guys actually have a caller on the line. Oh, cool. Okay, all, all right, right bring him on. Caller on the line. What's your name? Where are you from? 
And they hung up on us. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, starting to get a complex yeah. about these callers calling in and then hanging up. I know. Well, I, think, I think they still think <laughs> Lillian Garcia. <laughs> oh, okay. So. okay. All right. Oh, demote we're, us. What the not, hell? We're not Lillian. First off, by the way, what kind of a comment is that? Volume. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin. <laughs> nice, Ben. That is a, what the? They, they are quote no your way. Passion. Okay, so anyway, interesting that they they've been divorced for yeah, that's really yeah, interesting. that huh. eight no, nine know, years. That's, that's an interesting. I would love I, to know more of that. I guess there. I couldn't find any more. I tried. I didn't have a lot of time to figure that but out. Get but on I that, d- Tammy. But I looked for a good twenty minutes. I couldn't find anything. Okay. So anyway, wow. um, yeah. So alcoholic husband. Yeah, but it looks like he's he's ready. He yeah. looks open, doesn't he? S- well, sort of in front of Doctor in front Drew. of them. Yeah. Yeah. But he still hasn't gotten help. He was like, no. "Oh, if I find the right AA meeting, that'll be good." But I, yeah, he was you know, making conditions about yeah, that yeah. for yeah. sure. And I wanted him to be like, "Cool, when can I start rehab?" Yeah, like but, I, you know, the way to support her is to just stop. No, I, I, I had a, I think I had a peg. You know what? Or I, I almost had it um, where I knew the line he was going to say, where he was like. If only I had the right bar to go to so that I didn't have to inhibit her. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. But his, so his thought shouldn't way. really be about how I can support her. It should be how do I get help? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Doing mm-hmm. so, that Would, handles it. Will right. Be it sounds like since she's been in rehab, he's sort yeah. of realized it for himself. Yeah, because as soon as you extricate yourself from that uh, I- 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 you know, influence, mm-hmm. then you start to see things differently because all the stuff is not there. Yeah. By the way, would guilt tripping him work in the fact of like, oh man, rehab was so great. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, guilt always, always yeah, works. usually works. It always yeah. works. I'm just saying, it'd be fun. <laughs> you yeah. are just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go to Jeremy. Uh, well, we, Jeremy's talking about how he's got all this stuff everywhere. Would you like a centrum? Man. Centrum? Yeah. <laughs> centrum? <laughs> Would you like yeah. a centrum? Yeah, I thought it was, yeah, I, thought it was so I like Dr. Quiet. doing that. You've got so much in your liver. We, no, we can't do this. No, this is not. Yeah. we got to get like, everything cherry, cleared out. Da, da, da. You, you can have medicine. nothing. So oh, wait, what are you looking through that for? Oh, I'm seeing what, what well, I can't have. I can't have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nothing. Uh, yeah. That's an addict. That, I yeah. love how centrum is looked down upon as if like, ugh. What is this? Any sort of pill yeah. to him. It's a processed vitamin. That's pfft. Yeah, him who takes, like, cattle medicine or yeah. whatever. Yeah. What <laughs> so cows not... get before they're slaughtered. Yeah. Yes. That's well, so messed up. The trip home, It would be a waste insane. to give it to him after they're slaughtered. I mean, that's <laughs> that's real. That's true. That's yeah. true. Good point, John. Thank you. So we go to, we go to Jeremy's uh, house. Mm-hmm. Wow, you know what? I really admire him for that because he was like, "Good, get it all out." He yeah. threw away ten that ten thousand dollars bag. Twelve thousand dollars worth. Crazy, total, yeah, yeah total was twelve thousand. Crazy, man. That was amazing. By the way, we thought of uh, the perfect job for Jeremy. If oh, we did. If he wanted to switch careers, yeah, yeah. Uh, as a pharmacist, I mean, er, but like the, the one that directly oh, no. controls who gets what pills at what time. Because yeah. the fact you know he would be like, "Okay, this guy needs his pill at seven thirty-five. Okay, this guy." Needs his pills at seven thirty seven. Great. Yeah. Arcade. Did you get those pills? All right. Awesome. We're at eight uh-huh. eight thirty two. Great. Eight, that guy got his pills. Awesome. Eight thirty five. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You yeah, know, do just that. spewing it because he would have it memorized. Of course. All right. This guy it's needs his methane or whatever whatever the code names for pills would be. Yeah. He would don't have pretend them all. like you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not pretend. This guy needs his me- uh, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> but he Amazing. was, he Boy, was there on was a, a mission. a lot of stuff there. I, I like that they brought in the bucket. I know. And then when they were leaving, there were two or three of them. <laughs> Did you notice yeah. that? I didn't notice that. I didn't that. notice yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> there was okay. a lot of stuff we didn't see. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, syringes and oh all the HGH God. that he was, was in taking his freezer. And yeah. He was I, injecting I, didn't, what's the I didn't hear what that was for. Did anybody get that? Uh, no, insulin? he just said I was injecting insulin at one point. I think just because. Just, just to get good at it? Yeah, what would that do? Does anyone in know what that In case I get diabetic? Do? Um, yeah. If he's not <laughs> a diabetic, it wouldn't be good. No. It's preventable. I mean, his whole tolerance to insulin. That's it. I mean, yeah, literally, sure that's it. what was so interesting, this guy's whole kitchen was, like, you would open a drawer, you would expect, okay, maybe there's a fork in there. No. no like, literally, yeah. this was, like, his different types. Of, okay, so you've got your cereals here, your oatmeal, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, okay, great. Again, nicely organized. Yeah. Yeah. Syringes Stuff the freezer here. freezer was good. Yeah, lots of freezer stuff. They've just been wasting away in that I, freezer. I was just impressed with the amount, the volume of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And how, how long... Would that amount last yeah, you? Was that like a month's the worth, or was that six months worth, like a day I mean, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. How much does that? 
Wow. It's very impressive. That was really scary. I wonder what would have happened if he went home and he had to clean it out on his own. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah, that just, like you say, the sheer volume of it was would be overwhelming, I mm. would think. And then he'd have to yourself. take it out to the trash and then he'd think about it, how it was there in the trash. Mm-hmm. I'm just He wouldn't have a trash can big enough. <laughs> no. I know. Or it wouldn't say hazardous waste either. No, no that was no. yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. Um it's so does everyone remember about Mike Star? Yeah. 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 Should we get to that in a little bit? Yeah, and we're, we're still not there on the timeline. Mm -hmm. I am okay. the one who took notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I took notes, too. I did not write that uh, down. The next thing, we've kind of already covered it with Sean and her yeah. husband. Husband, you mm -hmm. husband, might say. Uh, talking about her violent conflicts <laughs> and, you know, the Irish coming up in her. John, do you want to talk about the Irish no. coming up in her? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot it until I remembered it. Uh, and then, right, then Jessica, they're talking to Jessica about th their concern about her. She is on the fence, man. This is. Yeah. And this she wants to go see time. what sober living looks like. Exactly. Yeah, there, that's that claim that's thing. The, Can mm -hmm. I go tomorrow? Yeah. Can I see what it looks see like? Mm -hmm. like? Yeah. And she, wait. She's just looking for a reason to say no. Of course. And, and she then said, she found what it. What does she yeah. say? No. Oh, I don't have my own stuff. No. It, she says, can bedroom. you find me Shocking. in my onesie? Can you <laughs> uh -huh. see my face? No. And then she says... I want to smoke a bowl. I want to smoke a bowl. And then yep. she says... Someone said, oh, I've been sober for this amount of time. She was like, wow, that's that's a really good amount of time. I'm like, you're supposed to be aiming for life. Yeah. want to be sober for life. Right. Mm. And she kept talking about how, how she how she might stay sober right. or something weird talk like that yeah and, yeah it was yeah. very everything was very qualified with her but mm -hmm. I, I liked dr drew's announcement that yeah, her just her entertaining that and being concerned about it is a good thing right because mm -hmm. it shows she's taking this seriously whereas, right you know as an outsider I, I i didn't make that connection to well, mm -hmm. yeah absolutely that does make that Right. Mm -hmm. Well, and worried it, about that. You know, it's kind of interesting because when she her first episode, yeah. she was so willing to jump right in. Right. Remember with the horses? Yeah, but now she's going back out. Exactly. Yeah. So it's really interesting mm -hmm. to see her kind of go from most improved. Yeah. To Jones. <laughs> to, <and. laughs> to yeah. Most ready. Biggest to, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Biggest yeah. problem Yikes. on the unit. Yeah. And you, I I think uh, I mean I don't know when the interview with her was. Uh, yeah. But I think. She, I think I hope it was right after the meeting with Dr. Drew because she had a whole changed tone of, you know, where she was remorseful for the fact of, you know, if I go back to even weed, yeah. um, I will be lazy. I will. Mm -hmm. It is a relapse, basically, she admitted. Yep. Whereas before that, she didn't. I'm just watching. Oh, she just yeah. hid almost all yeah. the way. Unibomber there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unisugar. Uh -huh. By the way, you know, I mean, that's got to be some... She, she wants to literally hide, hide from the yeah, world. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no... And be a baby. A, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Mm, yeah. And be a baby. The ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not it's hard much easier to, to be a kid than be responsible. Of course. Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. you know, just easy. Of course. You get to do whatever you want. Yeah, man. But yeah. you know, your impulses. What sucks about being a kid is that people could just pick you up and from behind and you won't even know. Yeah, that still happens to me. <laughs> Actually, that still happens to me too. <laughs> anyway, um, at least we're not wearing onesies. Okay, and so then we got to the Mike Star thing. So Shelly comes yeah. over and. Has to tell and, um, Ben. What were you saying about Steve? Steve? Steven? Um, yeah. I've recently, like, legitimately enjoyed seeing Steven. I don't know why. Well, I think just compared to what he was, which was just completely crazy and and in, a bit I, incoherent. Yeah. And mm -hmm. He Combative. actually is kind of making more sense than most people there now. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. he told Sean, like, no, 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 don't, don't go back. It's okay. Just yeah, he going. did. Yeah, and stuff like that. He is. He's almost a calming influence right he now. He is <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, they they talked about how similar the two yeah. of them are because of their backgrounds. Sure. But I, I don't know if anybody else saw the Mike Star. Um, I did see that. Yes, season. I did. And, but he was he was he was a really interesting guy on mm. the show. I mean, he was having such trouble. And for he so had a lot long. of anger too. Remember how he yes, would fly off the handle too? Get so to. that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he like and, followed the camera that one time, which is a funny out. contrast to yeah. Stephen because he's. Like we were just saying, this calming influence, yeah. whereas Mike Starr seemed to be like smoldering anger mm -hmm. all the time. And you never yeah. knew when he was just going to really fly off. And mm -hmm. he was it's scary that way. Just, uh, and the tragedy of it all really hit me as I was watching and they're going through and they're showing the uh, flashbacks, what flashbacks, the previous seasons of yeah. him. And everything. I just think, God, 
Yeah. That is so close. And I, I'm, I was shocked. I was hoping that they would look, talk about it to the group and say, this is why aftercare is so important. Right. That if anything right. you can take away from this, Mike would want you to know aftercare mm-hmm. is important. We got to handle this. Well, like, you know, he went into sober living. Right. And mm-hmm. had a little trouble there. And, mm-hmm. you know, so even even with the aftercare, yeah. sometimes it's it takes more Clearly. sometimes. For Clearly. Right. I mean, even Steven Adler was just like, oh, another dead friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. From drugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's got to hurt. Do you have something else? Bill, that no, you I was going to say that quote. But oh. She beat me to the punch. Yeah. But yeah okay. very... And then, you know, Dr. Drew, I am sick of putting oh, my yeah. patients in the ground. Yeah, that oh, was sad. That must be just, that was you can see the weight of it on him. He's just when he's like those and big, broad shoulders. Yeah, and that big. shirt just kind of sunk uh, a little, didn't I they? I can give him well, really good massages. <laughs> <laughs> well, just call me. I live in Pasadena. Your little tiny fingers, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they're, they're strong from okay. playing music. Oh, so. okay, okay. Um, speaking of Dr. Drew, just, one of the things, it, it it just seems, he just seems very different this season than he has on ad- others. He mm. seems... Um, I'm noticing a lot that he talks about how he feels, and I fe- he's empathic. I think, yeah. wouldn't you say that, oh, John? Yeah, you know, he absolutely feels things in his own body when he's experiencing other yeah. people, and I and I and he, and he's really to trust like that. that about him. And he's yes. learned to use that. He does, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's calls it up instantly. Part of his diagnosis, mm-hmm. it's part of his yeah. uh, counseling. Yep. And, yeah, I think that's he's great. so good at reading people. It's yeah, um, Lo- yeah. working and, with people for so long, you would have to learn to understand them with the way that yes. he just picks something up just yeah. by looking at someone it's crazy I, I just i think that's so fascinating to watch and to really kind of experience him mm. having those kind of by the way, reads and, on people mm-hmm. and i think he also knows his weaknesses i mean um in dealing with sean's husband yeah he very much said you know what this may not necessarily be my area this is the yeah, guy i want to guy. talk to yeah mm-hmm. and that's so, what, yeah you always have to do you always partner with somebody that has your, has different strengths exactly, and then the other thing that I I see that's really different this season about Dr. Drew is I've talked about it before that he's really holding the line with yeah, people well, in a much stronger way. I don't know if it's just we haven't seen it before, or it's coming out more with him. He's saying no much more forcefully. Well, he's, in certain situations, he was letting other people do that job for him. Yeah, he seems a little true. more. Um, he's setting the boundary. Yeah, and I think he's just he's there more. This this season, I'm really like you know, but I love him. No, but I love no, but I no. And just for Michelle, I think this season more than any other, we've seen him in the black t-shirt. in a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know. So that's a big difference as well. Before it would just be one ep- one part of an episode. Yeah, so. Also, <laughs> what do you think it's like just to go home with all of that stuff? Yeah, because yeah. that's his life. That this is life. No, you know what? I'm going to bring up, uh, so tie it back to a show, another show that we do that you guys don't do, except for you, oh. uh, Michelle. But uh, Whale Wars, uh, yeah. the captain of that oh. show, Paul Watson, whale noise. Um, you know, he says, I chose my job at the age of 11, and it's not a job you retire from. It's a job you carry for life. And in many ways, you know, uh, Dr. Drew, that yeah, there is no real going home. Right. You know, your patients are always with you. You don't just... Again, that's why he's sick of, you know, uh, putting these people into the ground is because Mm -hmm. it does hit him very hard. And Mm -hmm. there's not a day that you can't really turn that off. Mm -mm. Yeah. But you have to do something because if you're carrying that all the time, you become less and less effective because you never have an opportunity to recharge. Exactly. To get any kind of other stimuli in. A break is. It's a law of diminishing returns. We Mm -hmm. all go through it. Everybody has it. He's got to do something to unplug or get away. Can you list? I mean, can you say that to the. Left of you, please. No. <laughs> Let's turn a little <laughs> left. You know, did you hear that? Okay. Yeah, you Let's hear that, ben? Yeah, ben? Ben. Do you hear that, Beebs? Um, <laughs> so I think we should take a commercial break here and then come back with our special segment, which we can go into. Which is, can we tease it? Yeah, go. Tease away. Oh, on Love Line, Michael Lohan was on and Steven called in. Mm-hmm. Great. So we will talk about that coming up. Steven has in. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. 
6, 17, 29. It's television, and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's and Shakespearean. I, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why AfterBuzz TV is the number one source for after-show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy, Nucky is a villain. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig no, will come no. out that wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. All right, girls, take it away. Bye, fine. So yeah. this Love past line. week Love on Love Line with Dr. Drew and Psycho Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his name. That's his name. Oh, okay. I thought mm-hmm. you meant Lohan. Michael Lohan? Oh, no. no. He's a crazy. Mike is completely right. different. Yeah, different. Um, but this last week, um, Michael Lohan was on uh, and Steven Adler called in. Yeah, and Michael Lona- Lohan, he was getting pretty good advice to the callers, nice. you know, short and sweet. Of course, Dr. Drew was giving amazing advice, and yeah. he kind of agreed. Um, and then Stephen called in, and they were talking like buds, you know. And also what I wanted to say earlier, it links to the having another, like, you know, patient in the ground mm-hmm. sort of thing. Um, another person died that was in rehab, oh, yeah. um, but not on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and who is Steven Adler's friend also. Wow. So Steven was like, yeah, that was really sad. And it just like this episode, and he must have that happening all the time, especially in the music industry, you know. Seems like that's happening a lot. Um, yeah. So Michael Lohan is a lot like an abrasive mother <laughs> in the way that he is here, like Jeremy Jackson, like he w- gives a lot of advice. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was giving a lot of advice. I think it's funny when people on Loveline try to give advice and Dr. Drew is just like, right. But that's not true because <laughs> this is right. Mm-hmm. He just like, L- I'll let them talk because they're the guests. Uh-huh. But people call in, you know, I don't know if you've ever listened to it. No. But you basically with the craziest yeah, <laughs> with the craziest questions about sexuality, basically they can call and ask all the questions that they've been afraid to ask, yep. that they don't want to ask their doctor, that they don't want to yep. ask anyone. And some And then they'll ask a guy like Michael Lohan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. And then so Michael what, Lohan okay. happens to be and most of the people that are on there, I'm just like you just gave the most damaging advice mm-hmm. I could possibly think of. But then Dr. Drew, Rains they tell in. him what's what, you know? All right, so give us an example. Yeah, yeah do you remember one um, where... Yeah, I was trying to remember one that when it was cr- good. No, yeah, no, just, just a question. question. What, like, what, was, uh, okay. what was Michael's response? Um, Oh, that Michael responded to you? Yeah. Uh, someone was like, so I like to... My girlfriend... Um, no, it was the Careful. girlfriend... It, it, I, yeah, it was a girlfriend calling. Oh, um, my boyfriend, last time we were having sex, he wanted to, like, put on, like, women's clothes and blah, blah, blah. And then Michael Lohan started talking about some, something. He was like, no, he he's always been that way. Oh, no, don't. Just walk away. Walk away. And then Dr. Drew was like, no, wait. And he said something. Hang on really, you know. Yeah, he was like, but, this obviously has to do with a lot of stuff, you know. And <laughs> the voice of reason and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Also, what? this girl called in about um, a threesome oh, right. that she doesn't want to do. But, well, she had a threesome. And then it was her boyfriend and this other girl. Earmuffs. Yeah. Pretend, just ben? plug your ears. Oh, what, what <laughs> this doesn't happen. About? It's okay. <laughs> he doesn't know what that means. <laughs> um, so he did that. And mm. then she had to go to work early. So the two other people were still in the bed. She came back, forgot something, found them doing stuff. They were doing it. And she was like, they were cheating on me. <laughs> and then, it, yeah, it was very confusing. Yeah, wow. and Michael Lohan was like, well, you know, you really have to set up those those guidelines. I mean, you really have to tell them what that is. Dr. Drew was like, get out of this relationship <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad relationship you will it does not nice. work mm-hmm. if you need to have another nice. person in it then you don't want to be in it yeah also something that happened on the show that i thought was interesting steve because the last right. week was such a big episode featuring michael lohan and yeah. him freaking out and the whole 
yes, ma- major they, thing. Yeah, near heart attack. Yeah, Stephen Adler <laughs> was like, "Yeah, Michael, how does it feel to have like it must feel hard to have you like screaming on the TV? That was me a few weeks ago, you know, freaking out." And they laughed about it, and they were like, "Michael was like, yeah, it's weird, but." It's fine because it's showing people like what rehab is like and blah, blah, blah. They were really excited to talk to each other. They seem like, you know, really good friends, like close. Mm -hmm. And that they were like, well, I'll call you next time I'm back in L.A. Steven was doing a show. So he was on the road. Oh, wow. And he was talking Mm -hmm. about how excited he was that he's like out playing music again. Wow. He's out playing music again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah, was out <laughs> drumming and Gone all this stuff. Gone to the lion's den. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, seriously. I know. Um, so he was excited about that. And then they said about the other friend dying. Mm-hmm. I don't know who he is. I, you know what? Name. I'm trying to remember the band name. I heard it. It's like a weird oh. name. Oh, it's um, uh, it's I like, oh, does it have like a W or V or something uh, like that? Or does, maybe it doesn't even have that. Wait. Yes. Warrant. W. Yes, yes. Warrant. Yes. Yes, Warrant. That's true. No one? No. I forgot. Yeah, one. Never okay. one. I'm up on it. Well, oh 80s band. Yeah, yes. it, it was a big 80s band. That's what So he's, that guy isn't around anymore, and Steven's like friends with everyone in the music industry, I guess. But, um, you know, Michael Lohan talked about himself, but Dr. Drew snipped that. Yeah. Snipped that out of the bud. So that was well, and so did it sound like they're. It, it sounds to me like you're saying that they sounded still sober. Yeah, and definitely. Yes, both they sounded, sounded really sober. good and happy and like clear headed. You know, they sounded good. They sounded really good. Did Michael Lohan talk at all about Kate? No. No. Did you hear anything about any him? No. no. I was waiting for him we to be need like a follow up on whether or she actually ever went to rehab. I think we need to know. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I I doubt. Yeah. It. Odds are yeah. tomorrow. Prediction. She's going well, tomorrow. yes, she went the next morning. She's going tomorrow. <laughs> no, she's she not the next that. morning. No, she's going tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow. 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 Not necessarily in the morning, just tomorrow. Just yeah. Tomorrow. Mm, yeah. Sometimes. She didn't say morning. All right, guys, we have a caller on the line. Okay. Yeah. All right. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm from Hollywood, California. Hey. Hi, how are you? Are you guys still talking about Entourage? No. no. We're talking about Sorry. celebrity rehab. Oops. Where's Lillian Garcia? Oh, what? no, she left. Zaya left the studio. Ma'am. Sorry. Yeah, ma'am. You gotta get in there fast, man. It's okay. You have I any thoughts? I was wondering why she's not on WWE anymore because I went to SummerSlam and I didn't see her there. Oh, you uh, know yeah. what? You're gonna have to call in next time Lillian's on. When is she on again? Next you know, <laughs> I'm not sure. You can check www.afterbuzztv.com. Yes, AfterbuzzTV.com and uh, you'll be able you'll to get a full right. full and, uh, ch- check And check out the show on iTunes. Just search, right, search like a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Search yeah. on uh, iTunes, the subscribe. iTunes store, and uh, just oh, okay. and yeah, they're free. Search Lillian. Yeah, right. watch right. Celebrity right. Rehab. Let me give them direction. <laughs> just go to the iTunes store and search Entourage um, with After Buzz, or just search right. After Buzz and then you'll find it. And in fact, do that. Oh. And uh, if you're for fans listening out there, do the same thing for uh, Celebrity Rehab. Yep. Just go to iTunes store, search Celebrity Rehab. I mean, if you're listening, you you know where it is. And we'll let Lily know you're going to call next week. All right, cool. All right. Okay, thanks for calling. All right. Um, so I, I think <laughs> did, we went to commercial already. So now at this point, right. we're at predictions, maybe? We're yeah, let's, see right. let's do some it. predictions. Is last week the next last? Next week. Next, next week will be the last. They usually do 10, don't they? How many? Is next week will be episode 9. Oh, you caramba. Yeah, we couldn't fill a whole season. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I th- maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it isn't the finale next week. No, well it's it's graduation next week. It is. That's what well that's what they're calling it. So I don't know if there's an episode after it might that. Be a two, you know what? Usually they a have a you, they have graduation, they but then back. they have a yeah. reunion thing. Oh, do they? I mean, yeah. yeah, but oh maybe that's what it you is. Know? Yeah. Yeah, but the reunion show is never part of the season. It's oh, okay. like you know. You're right. They do ten episodes and then but whatever. I guess we have to see. Yeah, maybe we should wait. See if they release. I predict we'll have this figured out next week. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, that's an excellent prediction. I'm going to say one of my main predictions is that Jessica Sugar won't will go home and smoke weed. I really Mm -hmm. think she's going to do that. I don't think so. I think she's going to go to. I think she'll go to after. You do. I do. I think Doctor Drew's going to push her very hard to uh, do that. Go into the sober house. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? What do we think of? uh, I mean, we're going to get some amazing special guests next week. That's right. Jeremy yeah. Davis, right? That's his name. Yeah. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, I'm so like, he came on the screen. You and I, Phil. We went. Oh my god. 
<laughs> yeah, he's like, I mean, he looks he's good, actually. He you. looks fantastic. I, that Poor was the second I looked away, down though. at the piece of my paper. I did, too. And I, I was like, it. what happened? Well, if and if you didn't see that season and you wouldn't know what a dramatic... It's a little like, you know, watching Intervention, Michelle, yeah. and, and seeing them three months later. Mm. Only this has been, you know, a year later. And... That poor guy had so much wrong with him. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, yeah. like, Physically, parts of his body yeah. were falling off. It was terrible. Yeah, it was, I yeah. mean, to the point where Dr. True said, you will die in, like, less than five years if you don't get better. Yes, he yeah. did say that. Easily. Easily. Yeah. He said, you are 25 or however, and you have the body, the health of an 80-year-old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is disturbing. I, so I can't wait to see bad, what's right? going on with them. I'm very proud of him. I am too. And I got a lot of crap on our podcast when well, I was. That's because like, you kept saying that he was well dressed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was more than well dressed, but I'm very so excited to see him and how he's doing. You thought I he was well too. dressed with the flip flops. I know exactly. Body. I think I think there's a little bromance going on with Phil and Jay. Ooh, there was. You know he's like go I on. just. Yeah. I'm gonna find it so intriguing the story he's gonna tell these people. Yeah, me if, too. Especially like if a guy like that can do it, then you know what. It's got to be possible. Yeah, yeah I'm, like just, back into it. I'm just <laughs> glad he doesn't have blonde hair anymore because that was a bad choice for him. Do you remember the crazy blonde yeah, he's hair? he's a fan. Yeah. And you wouldn't, the blondest didn't. No, it didn't. Who else, who else did we see, though, as well? Apart from him, I mean, All the, the faces are coming through, but I can't remember who they are. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember. He was just so, he, it was so exciting for me to see that he was going to be there. I'm, I, I can't wait. Anyone want Rachel Ucatel to be there? Oh, I think she was there. She was? I okay. think she was. I think she was the first one that walked through. Hmm. Hey, guys. So, uh, well, she could definitely speak to Amy Fisher, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Or hey, sugar. we're both good looking. Sugar, though. Exactly. We're both <laughs> great they're both looking. They're, they're, you know. Mm-hmm. We've been in the tabloids, yeah. Reality mm-hmm. TV right? stars. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Sugar. Exciting uh, week next week. Yeah. Ben, I feel like you should have a lot of predictions. Yes. I do, too, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> see you guys next week. Well, yeah, I guess I guess we will see you next week for uh, graduation. Yeah, see that's what right. What happens there? It's gonna be exciting. And uh, you know, let's promote Dr. Drew. Hey, life changers coming up. Um, that's right. This CW show. Yeah, it is. And uh, so we feel that's gonna. You guys should definitely check that out if you guys are fans of his. Yeah. And uh, our own Maria Menounos is gonna be heavily involved with that as well. Excellent. Dr. Drew, call me. So we'll get some inside skinny, hopefully. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. Anyways. We'll uh, see you next week for Celebrity Rehab. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz you later. From Rehab. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.